best in show. That was. Oh, yes. Did you have to? Did you have to go and like uh, hang around other dog? Oh people yeah, we did do dog that? training. We did um, a little dog handler mm -hmm. training. We went to a park in Beverly Hills, and it was John Michael Higgins. Catherine O'Hare and me mm -hmm. at, at this one because we were the handlers of the dogs. Yes. And it was a, a woman teaching uh, people how to handle their dogs for dog show. And so we were just, in a, you know, three students. And? And, well. What the, happened? Well, we were we did pretty well. But there was a, a small dog show that was happening right after it. And one of the handlers didn't show up. And John Michael Higgins handled a dog <sighs> and won. Come on. Yes. Are he you serious? First place, yeah. <laughs> So he took to it. He had no. He had no experience. <laughs> he had no experience dog except handling. that little lesson. Right. And he, he uh, his dog won. What does that mean about the craft of dog handling? Well, I think John Michael Higgins is quite ex uh, okay. uh, an exemplary person. We'll he, go he's in that. Good at everything he does, because I think there is. I wasn't very good at it at first, but Michael just. Took which to dog it. did he handle? Do you remember which dog he crushed it with? I don't know what they were. I forget what dogs the they were. Mm. Your Pekingese? Well, his dog favorite. in the show was the Shih Tzu. The Shih Tzu, that's right. Yeah. Who was, who was your dog in the, uh, in the I movie? I had a Rhapsody in white, and she oh. was this white standard poodle. <laughs> Did you actually get to take the dog home or anything no. like oh, that? So you God, could try no. to... The people, well, yeah. the owners of this, especially this this particular dog, yes. um, I, 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 I'd never met anybody like her. She was... Um, so controlling about how I handled the dog. Take, I couldn't even talk to the dog. I wasn't yes. allowed to make eye contact with her until we were shooting, and then I then I would, was allowed to. What do you mean you weren't allowed to make eye she contact with really, the dog? They, they treat these dogs like you know they're stars. I guess they are stars to them. And she kept showing me the the awards that this dog <laughs> won. You know, do you? I hope you know who what, what dog you're handling there. She won this. She won that. She won that. Just really a strange, <laughs> very strange woman. <laughs> <laughs> just no. in case you yeah. thought you were just handling yeah, any, any old, old dog. dog. Yeah. This was a champion. The right. Michael and you Jordan needed of dogs. the Michael Jordan of dogs. <laughs> yes. Well, according to her anyway. Okay. But the, you know, when we were shooting that show, we didn't this. have to stop shooting for one bark. No, the dogs were so well trained. More than the humans? Yeah, on the, yeah, set? the humans were barking all the time. We were like, God. For Fred Willard was barking <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Right. I'm sure he probably was. <laughs> Wasn't he brilliant in that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. In, in all of Yeah, in all the All stuff. of the films that he did with Christopher Guest. Yeah. I mean all he of them. Waiting for Guffman up, and all that you know, too. Yeah. 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 For sure. Loaded Jane Lynch for here. For sure. <laughs> Jane Lynch here on the Rich Eyes Show. You got a good story maybe from uh, the legend of Ricky Bobby? <laughs> when you were first on the set or anything like that oh, or anything? God. You know what I remember most? I don't know if it's a good story so much, but okay. it was, there was a, you know, it, we had a script, but we improvised as well. And mm -hmm. it was always the best joke wins. And it doesn't matter if Will said it or who said it. It was very ensemble oriented and, and um, just very relaxed. I mean, I mean, that's how Will Ferrell is. And that's how Adam McKay is. You know, mm -hmm. it was very, it, it was a lot of fun. You didn't feel the pressure that we were making a major motion did picture. You, did you remember any line that you Yeah, came that up I with? made up? Yes. Um, yes, I did. Uh, uh, when the kids um, uh, say uh, they're on the road and I'm having them pick up trash, I'm trying to civilize them. Um, and uh, he says, when are we going um, uh, to stop doing this? I said, when are you going to stop throwing me the radio in the bathtub? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think I had read somewhere that someone tried to, to, took the radio into the bathtub and electrocuted themselves. And that's where that came from? <laughs> I think that's where that came from. <laughs> now, did they tell you afterwards that's making the movie? Or you didn't, just... No, but I was very happy to see it in there. So funny. We yeah. had uh, years ago for the movie Tenet, uh, now the man who just collected all the Academy Awards, Christopher Nolan, the director yeah, on yeah. here, and I asked him what his favorite remote drop movie is where you're just watching it, yeah. you drop the remote because it's just going to be... And The Fugitive, I told you the last time you were here, The Fugitive is one of that yeah. for me. Um, and he mentioned Talladega Nights you're is his kidding. remote drop. I kid you not. Oh, wow. And then in his English accent, he goes, if you're not first, you're last. Like oh that. Gosh. And he, he totally... <laughs> we were just like, what? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. that's great. 
So, so he knows who I am? No, I'm not saying, well, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> you got a chance in this town yeah, is what right. I'm saying, Jane. But it was just so wild how you yeah. never know how many people are just like uh, are watching Talladega Nights. Yeah. If you ain't first, you're last. There it is. Oh, my gosh. That was that's it. wonderful. Nice, Mike. That's, that, that's, a, yeah. that's what an audio executive does. That Monday. is high praise. Yeah, right there. Good job, Jane's Mike. here. I got to step my game yeah. up. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 